this is Jerry from Blue Studio, and welcome back to the next tutorial. So what are we gonna be doing in this one? We are going to make that very first level of that roller splat type game function as a level. So what does that mean? Well, we have the tiles set up to detect if the ball has hit them, and then we're changing the material colors. But we need to determine how many tiles there are in that level. And then we also need to determine if they're on or off. Then we're gonna set those numbers up as global variables. And if those two numbers are equal, so if we have 20 tiles in one level and then we increase as our tiles are changed to the same level so that those two numbers are even, then we're gonna go ahead and trigger a level complete condition. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we have our first level built. Now there's some things that we need to do to kind of get this to actually function uh, as a level. Now, what we need to do is we need to detect to see how many tiles there are, and then if those tiles have all been turned a color, and then if they have, what we want to do is to then trigger level complete. Okay, so there's a lot of different parts here. We need to kind of figure out all of those out. So first I need to figure out how many tiles there are in this level that we need to turn, okay? So let's just count those out real quick and we can do that here in the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so there's 20 tiles that we need to determine if those are have been turned. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna set up a global uh, numbering score system for levels, okay? So what we wanna do is, uh, I'm gonna pull up Playmaker and set up a global variable. And I'm gonna have this global variable be an int. Again, I want it to be a whole number, so it needs to be an int. And we'll call this level tile count. So this is the number of tiles within that level. So we'll go ahead and add that. Okay, so then I need to add another int that's going to be the number of tiles that have currently been turned. Okay, so level tile hit. Okay, so again, it needs to be an int and I'm gonna add that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up an FSM specifically for this level. That it's gonna reset these numbers to zero, and then every time one of these tiles has hit, it's going to add to my tile count, and then I can uh, compare those two numbers. So if they were equal, so if they're equal at 20 or whatever, then they we know that that level's been complete, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out because we don't need that anymore, and I'm gonna set an FS up uh, set an FSM up on this level specifically. Okay, so let's go. And so in our start state, what I wanna do is I want to, we'll just call this uh, level setup. So level setup. So what I wanna first do is I want to clear out those numbers to be zero. Okay, so what I wanna do is set int value. Okay, so again, those global values that I've set up, those global variables or ints, so I wanna set the value of those. Okay, so within this particular level, I wanna set how many tiles there are to change, okay? So, and that number in this case is going to be 20. And then we want to reset the value of how many have already been changed to zero, okay? so. Um, currently, the, the number that I need to reach is 20. We start out with zero, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a finished transition. And we're gonna go off to a new state and we'll call this compare tile count, okay? So here what I wanna do is compare the two counts that we've set up here. Um, and once we've reached that kind of global number of 20, or however many this level has, then we want to trigger a level complete. Okay, so we're gonna compare. Uh, we wanna do an int compare. So let's double click on that, we bring that down. And the two values that we want to check are 
the globals that we've set up. So I'm going to uncheck these so that I can get to my variables. So I want to check tile count, which we've set to 20. Yeah, tile count. And I want to compare that against tile hit. So in the beginning of the level, we're setting that to be 20. And right now it says zero because it hasn't played yet. Um, and then we need to send an event if those two are equal. Okay, so let's go and add a new state. And we'll just call this level complete. And if those two are equal, we'll uh, trigger. So we need to create a new event. So new event, level complete. And it's saying, hey, you don't have that transition set up. Yes, we want to transition and go over to level complete. Oh, hey, again, don't forget to share these tutorials to help get the word out. So here, once these two are equal, so initially they're in the very beginning, we're setting the first one to be 20. Um, so right now it says zero, but it's going to be 20 when the level starts. And then once this is up to 20, then we're going to go to level complete. And we also want to make sure that we're checking this every frame. Okay, so we've got that set up. Um, I do, I'm just going to set up a really fast UI. So I'm going to go and create a UI canvas. And we'll call this uh, UI level complete. I'm also going to go ahead and just create a empty game object that's UI. And I like to do that just to kind of again stay organized and then within that level complete UI let's go ahead and add a panel and now I'm going to change the color of that panel let's uh, have it be maybe kind of this orangey color have the opacity of it be up just a little bit maybe a little more on the yellow side and then I'm also going to just add some text as well so UI Text Mesh Pro, and bring in our essentials real quick. Close that, and then let's go ahead and add the text. We'll just say Level Complete. And we'll go ahead and bold that, make it centered. And then, of course, we want this to be a lot bigger. So let's go uh, 90 pixels, maybe. And then I need to have the width of this be a lot wider. And I'll take it all the way to the edge of the screen. So that way we're, we're assured that it's centered. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kick that down to the next level. There we go. So now we have a UI that we can have uh, turn on. So I'm going to turn that off. And then in our level complete, what we want to do is just to turn that level on. And so let's see here. We want to activate game object. So activate game object. And we don't want it to be the owner. We want to specify that we want to turn on. Oops, I need to lock that level. FSM there, and I want to activate the UI level complete. Okay, so we're not tr triggering that uh, compare comparison just yet. So, so let's go ahead and just play this real quick and see what happens. So if we look at our values here, as soon as I move my ball, you can see that my tiles are being changed, but I'm not triggering the level tile hit. So what we need to do is to go over to our floor tile and I'm going to my uh, prefab that I have set up and let's unlock this real quick in my floor tile FSM tile was hit we need to add an int to our global variable okay so what I'm going to do is to do an int add because we have that global variable of tile was hit uh, we need to add one to that to say that hey it's it's one okay so let's go to global variables level tile hit and we're going to add one and we don't want this to be every frame because we want it to be just once it's hit once it just adds one 
Now let's give this a test. And let's go back to our scene real quick just so I can see my level UI. So here we've got our int value. So as soon as I move, we should see that number this number is increasing. Oops, let's go here. And there we go, you can see our number is now at nine. And then as soon as we get to level complete of, of 20 of 20, then we should trigger that UI. Boom, there we go. We have now completed our first level. And in this tutorial, we created our very first level and the functionality that makes it act like a level. So we set up how many tiles are in that level. Then we're also detecting if those tiles have been turned to on. And then if those two numbers are equal, then we're triggering a level complete condition. So what are we gonna be doing in the next one? We're actually going to create a few more levels and then look at how we can transition from one level to the next level. Again, don't forget to share. And as always, hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.